Honey, you just mentioned uh, in a group media situation that your wife is super excited about playing on December 21st. Uh, why is that? Uh, well, I think my family's just excited that we're going to a bowl game. It doesn't feel right unless you're going bowling around the Christmas time, but uh, really excited that they don't have to spend Christmas in a, in a uh, Christmas day in a hotel. I think it, my kids, it doesn't really matter. They, as long as they get gifts, who cares, you know? So um, for us, it's just we're really excited to play a game and uh, spend some time to hang out with our families while we're at the game, which is unique, and to do it so close to home, it's going to be a lot of fun. What's your reaction to the bowl game and the matchup? Famous Idaho Potato Bowl with Western Michigan in Boise. You've already been there. I hope we get as many potatoes as we want. I think that should be part of it if you're going to, if you're going to, um, you know, be the sponsor. But no, I, I'm excited about the game. Uh, you know, we we actually um, enjoyed our time when we played in Boise and had that a uh, couple times that I've been there. Um, really good people and a great, a great community. So uh, we have a lot of fans in the area. So we're really excited to go there and, and uh, show for our fans in Idaho. And I know there are a lot of fans who are from around the area and even in, in Utah will make the trip. It's an easy trip for them to go to. So uh, for us, it'll be fun. Um, we're excited about the matchup, too, and we're excited about the bowl game. So really, really uh, fired up to get there and, and uh, to experience the Boise city, you know, and, but also the, the people and, and just have fun. And I, uh, any chance we can play on that blue turf, it's, it's a famous, famous venue. So we got to try to find a way to uh, get a win. I think we can be the home team and get our home color, so maybe we can match the field, the turf color, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, you could go royal on royal if you wanted, right? Hey, that might be a thought. I don't know. I, I'm not really worried about um, uniforms right now. I, I was just throwing that out there, but I, I, it just we're, there's a lot of excitement with our players and with our coaches about this game, and to face a really good opponent like Western Michigan is going to be a lot of fun. Chance would have it. You can beat a group of Broncos on the Boise Blue with Western Michigan. What do you know about the Western Michigan version of the Broncos? Tim Lester is a really good coach and um, you know he, he's uh, coaching at his alma mater like I am so there's a lot of pride that comes to that and he played quarterback there you know so uh, I think it's uh, gonna be a lot of fun for us to bring our, our, our alma maters to a bowl game and, and battle it out but uh, this isn't about the coaches about their team their team's really good in their last game they beat uh, Northern Illinois you know and they uh, so they're, they're, they're a team that's really tough, and um, they've had success. And a couple of years back, they went to a New Year's Six Bowl and, and uh, played in the Cotton Bowl against Wisconsin, and I think they finished the year 13-1. and one. So uh, they're a team that's seen, seen success and, uh, and are used to, to wins, and so it's going to be a, a really good, good matchup for us. And they run the ball well, and they pass the ball well, so defensively we're going to have to take care of another high-scoring offense. The last group of five team before UCF to kind of make a New Year's Six game was this Western Michigan team, so that's pretty cool. Obviously, last year you didn't make a bowl game, so how much more gratifying is this season making a bowl? Because I think people get used to a certain amount of success, but are you more grateful for this situation because of last year? Yeah, I think it happens when, when, when things get taken away, you miss them, you know. So uh, not having the extra practices and not having that time to spend together as a, with your seniors especially, you know, that was really hard on us last year. And it's hard to look at me, it's for me to look at guys like Fred Warner and T. John Corowan and them not have a bowl game, you know. So I'm really thankful that we get this opportunity to take our seniors up to Boise and play this game and give them a great experience. I mean, there's a lot of cool gifts and all that that come along with it, but more than anything is allowing the camaraderie and the, and the brotherhood to, to thrive and to continue and, and uh, really to spend time. It's like we, normally when we go to a, a game, an away game, we we just had that one night together. Now we get to actually have a, a good amount of time and you know, I think we're four to five days together and um, our players get to bring their wives that are married and, and coaches get to bring their families. So it's, it's a cool um, environment and opportunity for everyone to get together and hang out. So that's why Michael Shelton got married between the Utah game and now, so he could take his wife? Yeah, and Hank Tupelotu got married. Yeah, so I, I had a busy, I had a busy uh, week off. I had to go to two uh, wedding receptions. So good planning. Or, or re really, really confident that we'd go yeah. bowling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. When you talk about extra practices, and a lot of attention gets paid to the extra practice that teams get to experience in bowl season, is that more about this year's team, or how much of that impacts next year's squad? Yeah, both. I mean, it's, it's important that the, there's a lot of seniors that are going to be at the bowl game that can't play, like Corbin, Matt Hadley, and those guys, you know. But uh, I think it's a good opportunity for them to teach what they know to the younger guys and for us to give the younger guys a lot more opportunities to practice. I uh, mentioned this is another spring ball uh, opportunity. We have 15 practices, and so we're going to use all of them. 
and hopefully get better as a team and then and, and take the field and try to get a win you know but that would be a, a huge um, jump start to 2019 with these younger guys and going into spring ball which you're going to start in, in March this year so it's uh, I think it'd be it's it's time out really well for us um, with the timing and with um, the the practices the organized practices that we get to, get to do and I think this is going to be a, such a huge momentum drive for our for our young guys especially in our depth you mentioned that uh, Corbin Kafusi and Matt Hadley are out. Squally Canada cleared to play. I want to ask about Lopini Katoa and Michael Shelton, who are also kind of out or injured in the Utah game. Well, the good news is they're still in the mix, right? And so um, we're, we're if, if they're not out, then there's a chance they may play in the game. But um, as we look in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to, to predict whether or not they're going to be on the field for us in that game. And right now, it's still open for those guys that return to the field. You mentioned the 15 practices. Uh, is that 15 for everyone before a bowl game, or is it dependent on when your bowl game is? Because yours is like 18, 19 days away, right? Yeah, I think for us, we're utilizing the 15 that you get. And then, um, so like guys that are playing on New Year's Day, for example, will probably give a little break and then start up before they, they get to their bowl game for us. Uh, it's nice because we go right into it. Now, we're, our players are going to have to balance um, their academics because it's during finals week, you know, so... Um, guys are going to have to take finals early or find ways to talk to their teachers and see what they can do, what options they have to take them um, while we're in Boise. But um, our teachers and our, and, our, and our faculty have done a great job at um, you know, helping us out and getting us uh, set. We've been through bowl games like this before, so it's nothing new to them. And I'm just glad we have a, you know, uh, a school that's willing to work with us in our, in our uh, preparation for the bowl game. Your quarterback tweeted out yesterday, well, it's a good thing I like potatoes, mashed potatoes, French fries, potato chips, things like that. Joking aside, where have you seen your quarterback, Zach Wilson, grow the most from the time he took over against Hawaii to where we are before the bowl game? Just a level of comfort with the, with the program and the team and being the, the leader, you know. It's hard for a freshman to come in and be given the, the, the keys to the program, you know. And so I think now he's feeling a lot more comfortable and, and can be a little bit more demanding of the, of the players. And everyone's starting to respect him a lot more. He's not just a freshman anymore. He's a leader of our, of our offense. And, um, you know, he, he was committed to Boise for a long time. So it's only fitting that he gets to go back there and play another game. So, you know, he's just he's committed. So we get to play two games in one year in his freshman year at Boise. So uh, everyone's happy. Here's to a fantastic potato bowl. Thanks, Kalani. We have a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. Go Kooks.